Hello and welcome to Imcon Solutions. My name is Jake and today we're going to be kind of caveat on off of my is Mestastic going mainstream. And in this video we're going to be highlighting uh, a company called Spec5 that is now that has been creating it looks like for a little while now since 2024 as far as I can tell uh, early 2024 uh, kind of off the shelf ready to go devices and I feel like there's a lot of people that are looking into Mastastic and get intimidated uh, by some of the barriers to entry and people that are providing devices like this I think help break down some of those barriers and give people the ability to just buy an off-the-shelf ready device and other than maybe updating firmware if they so choose they're ready to go so uh, let's take a look at their website or where they're selling devices and how they've built some pretty unique setups that I think are pretty cool for you know, a reasonable price so all right so I'll provide the links for this stuff down below but you check out spec 5 here uh, according to their site looks like the or where they're selling here been around since February 2024, at least Florence, Texas. I know there's a big Mestastic following in, in Florida, or Florida, Texas, man. Uh, Florence, that whole Florence, Texas thing threw me off, I guess. One of the ones I want to highlight here, I'm just going to highlight a couple of them I thought was super cool because I've been doing some Mestastic testing and I thought it would be really cool to build a setup. And I didn't think about the Velcro strap. That's a good one. Uh, to be able to attach to the drone because I did the hanging down kind of like a sling load uh, below and then the you know I was using the T echo and it was spinning like crazy um the this setup you can see has this velcro strap that would go around the um the drone this being a DJI drone similar to the one I have and um it's got even this, you know, the aerodynamics design. It looks like they're using an FPV style kind of flexible beam antenna there or dipole style antenna. And, um, but yeah, not too bad for the price. It comes with, uh, it's using the Heltec board. It's got a 1300 milliamp hour internal battery. Um, it's got PETG case, which is better for, um, you know, than like PLA or something like that because it's more resistant to the heat and weather uh, variations that you might have. So it's going to hold up a lot better in outdoor conditions than PLA will. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, not too bad. It's got said it's using the latest, looks like the latest Heltec uh, ESP32 S3 board with the. Uh, CR X-Ray 1262 chip, so not bad. I would say it was a total weight, 63.5 grams. Uh, it's not, that's, yeah, your drone, most of your drones are going to handle that unless you got something really small. Uh, we'll go jump back to some of their other setups. I, I'm actually highly considering <laughs> buying that one. Um, but they have, if you see here, they got quite a few different setups. Some using WizBlock. This one, you're like, well, wow, is it $170? Take a look at it though, and it's a it's got some features that you may not realize in the beginning. Like it's got a little solar panel built into the back of the case here. It'd make good for that quick rapid deployment. Keep that battery those batteries stopped off. Although it has two 18650s, and I'll tell you, a rack uh, whiz block will run even one with a screen like this will run a significant amount of time uh, off of those two batteries without any input. So um, it'd be great for those know rapid deployments like they're talking about uh, camp you know power your base camp mestastic receiver which is kind of a cool concept um obviously you can leave it out in the weather because it's not weather proof but that interesting concept their t deck uh you know it has what they call a weather resistant case um but it's got a it's got a hefty price to it, you know, even with that thirty three hundred milliamp hour battery, um, and the GPS mod on it, which is cool. Um, I would I'd say that's still a little hefty. Their relay, I'm, these minis are pretty cool setups. They got internal antennas, so you're probably not going to get the 
best performance out of them, but they're low profile and they got a little clip. You can clip them to your bag. A uh, little, yeah, like I said, lower profile, not carrying around a big old device around and, you know, in town and people are looking at you real weird, like, what are you doing? But um, <laughs> uh, this setup is, I'd say fairly priced. Now, honestly, it's got a 12 watt panel includes the antenna. It doesn't include the pole. Obviously that's up to you to decide how you're going to mount that, but it is designed to be mounted from a pole or you could, I'm sure easily mount this on the eve of a house or something like that too. And, uh, um, it's got the same, it's a whisk block core and your two 18, batteries. Like I mentioned, my, my device at home, uh, my solar setup has three and that thing lasts a long time. Just on, I've had over 30 days on just three batteries without any solar input. So that gives you an idea. These are, like I said, I just think creators like this that are out there, uh, you know, you're supporting a small, uh, small business and it's just, you know, you're going to get a little more unique setups. I mean, this thing, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> the S5. Mesh clip Heltec wireless stick version three. That's interesting. Look at that. So that just literally meant to stick on basically the back of your your phone. Even more discreet, you know. Yeah, the the little cord. People just think it was a, a battery pack. So you could you could um, be using this anywhere, and it would be very discreet. Most people would have no idea. They just think it was one of those. Uh, charging pack so a very unique project or uh products i think and so if you guys are interested of course i'll provide a link i have no affiliation or anything like that i just wanted to highlight someone that's out here making cool devices um or more ready to go mesh testing devices uh if you find what we're doing here interesting subscribe to the channel like check out our social media links our website all that stuff's down below you know you got any questions comments whatever Put those down below. Till next time, have a great day.